Hey guys, back with another video. So, I mentioned in a previous video how I was only going to be ordering from Walmart from now on because the Walmarts I've been to just suck with their collection and I just. I don't want to do it. Maybe I might uh, do uh, in-store pickups. Maybe, you know, because Walmart does free shipping, but only for $35 and above. And I'm not going to want to spend $35 every time because... As you'll see, one of the pops I got, uh, you know, I I was notified that it was back in stock, and I just jumped on to order. So, and there happened to be a bunch of other pops that I wanted, but I'm not going to you know, want to do that every time. So I'll try and maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. But I don't know which box is what's in. So I know what I got, kind of. But I don't know which box is, which box is which. So it'll be just as surprising for me as, you know. So before I open the boxes, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Uh, and yeah, comment below, give me your thoughts. So let's uh, check out the first box. So. Let's see. Uh, let's. So here we go. I will. Oh, wait, here, this is the sharp edge. Here we got Chester Cheetah. So yeah, I picked this one up. This, I just like the ad icons and, you know, Chester Cheetah is one of the coolest icons. I think, you know, one of the coolest, I guess, uh, mascots. I mean, that's what I'd call them, I think. You know, I'd call them mascots more than... Uh, I wouldn't really call them icons when referring to them. I'd refer them to... I'd call them mascots. But he's definitely one of the best ad people things, cheetahs, that's around and I really like this line. I like the ad icons. You know, there are a bunch of cool ones. So next one. This one we got different box. Maybe it's from a different, let's just see.
Yeah, it's from a different uh, warehouse distributor. So I guess they don't just ship standard. I don't know. Weird. But, uh, all right. Let's, looks like you just open it from, uh, Looks like it's in a sorter of some sort, so we just all right. Here we go. Oh, it's a regular box. It's just not a Walmart box. That's that's weird. Also, all right. We got Hitman, Bret Hart. I saw this on there and I had to pick it, pick it up. You know, big, uh, not so much a wrestling fan anymore. I'm, I try, I try to get back into it every now and then, but it's just not the same as it, you know, I, I want to say I stopped watching wrestling in like, Two thousand. Reg- I stopped regularly watching wrestling in like two thousand three, two thousand four. So I guess I think that was like the end of what they call the Attitude Era. You know, like kind of around when The Rock and Stone Cold started to uh, end their careers as wrestlers and you know i started watching in the uh early 90s you know i think i started watching wrestling like around uh kindergarten or first grade i remember there was a bunch of kids that we would all watch the pay-per-views together and stuff but uh yeah so Bret Hart's right up uh you know that's that's who I grew up watching so yeah I'll definitely be looking for some other of that era of wrestlers you know I think they have the undertaker and so, so I'll I'll be picking that up. And I know like they have some other ones that came out that are really expensive now, but I won't be picking up those unless uh, I win, unless I get them in a mystery box. But yeah, you know, I'm not paying hundreds of dollars for a pop. Especially one that's probably at the peak value. It's not gonna. I doubt whether some of those will go up. Or, uh, all right. So let's let's uh, see how to do this. So the one I wanted is in here. another wrestler so I got the days that are on so I grew up with you know same with Bret Hart I grew up with Ray's Ramon love them I saw the uh... did I I don't know. I was at WrestleMania 10. I think that was the one 
with uh, Razor Ramon and um, Shawn Michaels, the ladder match or something. Ooh, they have The Rock in this line. I want to pick that up. That one's cool. And then in this line, they have uh, The Undertaker. That one's cool. And I've been looking at the Trish Stratus because I might, if I see that one, you know, maybe I'll pick that one up too. Because, you know, same era kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm not going to, I don't think I'll collect. I mean, I do like that Elias. That one with uh, the guitar. That's cool. So, I might pick up that, but... You know, I'm not, I don't really know who he is, so, I don't know. But, uh, so, the other one I picked up is this one. I think this one's really cool. Joker and Batman in the, the movie scene. That one's really cool. So, I picked that one up. Uh, here you go. See? Moon's a really cool one. So, with the gargoyle on the boat. So, it's just really cool. I like these movie scenes. I've been looking at the uh, Commissioner Jordan, the Commissioner Gordon one. You know, it's uh, Batman and Commissioner Gordon and the... Um, that light, but I don't know. I, you know, I've been looking at that one. I might pick it up. Wait for it to go on sale, cause you know. But yeah, this is the one I wanted. Oh, it's kind of, but it's not uh not damaged. But for some reason, it's a little. I don't know. But this is the one I wanted. It's uh, black and white Babe Ruth pointing. It's really cool. Walmart exclusive. And I really like this one. I don't think they have any other Cooperstown collection ones. Which is kind of disappointing. I'd really like to see a uh, Cooperstown collection line with like uh, Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams, Ty Cobb, like a bunch of those guys with like different signature poses, I think. Like, you know, I'm kind of. You know, I'm a I'm a big baseball fan, but I'm kind of disappointed with the from what I've seen of the baseball pops. I mean, there are a couple of cool ones, like there is uh there is the Griffey one I just saw with like the backwards hat, and he's like hitting home run. And then there's Nelson Cruz with the big bat, you know, because he, he calls it his boomstick because he hits booms. But uh, actually, there's one more that I'm waiting for from uh, Walmart that... Well, I'll include it in another video. But, uh, yeah. So, this is what I got. I... Uh, kind of want to take these out of the box, but... Especially the... Um, Alright, well, 
I'll try and take these out of, I'll try and take all of them out of the box. I don't, to show off, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be able to. I'm interested in seeing what, uh, what they look like. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the uh, Batman one out of the box. If I can, I will. If not, I'll uh, tell you guys I couldn't get it out. So uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, so I got them. I got all of them out of the box. So that's cool. I was able to do it easily, not, you know, I never try it. I never force them out of the box. They don't want to come out. They don't want to come out. But so here we go. Here's Bret Hart. No, nothing uh, to nothing on the back or anything that you need to see. But uh, I mean, even in the box, even if it's the front, you can't necessarily see the whole front because of the, you know, the logo and everything like that. But yeah, he's got the typical heart foundation, the heart foundation thing going on, logo, and uh, like the detail of his jacket. Not sure on the shoulders. It's got this silver. So yeah, and he's actually it's textured the shoulder. So that's cool. It's not just like painted on. But uh, yeah, so it's a really cool figure. Really cool. Thanks. Chester Cheetah's head, heavy, got a big head. So here we got Razor Ramon, actually the same old, kind of. I mean, the hands are different, but the hair is like exactly the same, you know, except for in the front. But I kind of wish he had a toothpick, you know. That would have been cool because that was like Razor Ramon's signature. Is that he had a toothpick? But yeah, I like, like that they gave him the chest hair and it's cool. The necklace. The necklace is actually, uh, it's also a texture. It comes out. So it's, but it's nice. Nothing on the back, but yeah, cool figure. So, all right, here we got a Chester Cheetah. Uh, you know, typical Cheetos mascot, nothing. Nothing too crazy. He's got his tail. His tail actually helps him stand. Like they could have given him a uh, a stand, but they're just like, ah, oh, the tail stands. So that's cool. I like the, that they gave him the sunglasses, which, yeah, I guess he's always, is he always wearing sunglasses in his, on the bags? I don't think so. I think on the bags of Cheetos, he doesn't have sunglasses. So that's kind of cool. I think just maybe in the commercials. But here we have the Batman and Joker scene from the 1989 movie. That's pretty cool. I like that it, there's some blood on it, you know. It just goes to show you that pops not, aren't necessarily for kids, you know. Uh, the gargoyle, 
Actually, it, it's not a boat. I don't know why I said it was a boat. It's a terrace or a rooftop from a building. I mean, I haven't seen the 1989 Batman in a really long time. But I like the, that they're coming out. They're coming out with a couple of 1989 Batman stuff now. Um, the, uh, they're coming out with the Joker and it Chase Joker with his hat. And I think they're coming out with a, a Batman. I'm not sure what else they're coming out with from 1980 the 1989 movie, but, and here is the one I really wanted, black and white Babe Ruth, looks awesome. Definitely uh, uh, my favorite right now, it's got the number three on the back, his number. Funny story, I don't know if you know this, but the reason the Yankees have pinstripes, you know, the iconic pinstripe jersey, is because, so, the, the uniform, the original uniform was designed by uh, Tiffany. I forget the guy's first name, Louis Tiffany. You know, the guy, Tiffany's, that guy. So the original jersey, the pinstripe jersey was made, designed by him, and it was made specifically to make Babe Ruth look slim. <laughs> so I, I just thought that was pretty funny when I had heard about it. So yeah, I like, I like the cleats on his shoes, I'm not sure. Yeah, let me let me take the stand off. See, it's got the cleats on his shoes. Yeah, there you can see it. Not on my shirt. It's my shirt. It's like dark red, so you can't. <laughs> but uh, there you can see it. And uh, yeah, I just like that he's black and white. I, I just picked up the color one. Uh, not there's there's one that's like $200. I didn't pick up that one. But I picked up this one. I actually may pick up another one of these to keep it out of the box. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's calling his, shite, his uh, shot in uh, 1932. He allegedly called his shot. He pointed to uh, pointed to uh, the outfield, the stands, and a lot of people say that he called his shot. Well, that's like the popular story, but then there's also a story going around that he's actually pointing to the hot dog guy, which you know, the funny thing about Babe Ruth is rumored that he had like six hot dogs before each game, which is pretty funny considering like he's arguably the greatest baseball player ever. And to me, like, I think he is, you know, no questions asked, you know, he was an all-star caliber pitcher, and then, you know, he became arguably the greatest hitter ever. So, 
you know, until someone can be, you know, that great on both fronts for, you know, the extended period of time that he had, until someone can be like an all-time top three player on either pitching or hitting and then be an all-star caliber player who could have probably, if Dave Ruth had continued pitching his whole career, he probably would have been a Hall of Fame pitcher. So, you know, that's, to me, that's pretty uh, tough shoes to fill tough uh, shoes to live up to. And I mean, people argue all the time that, well, he wasn't playing with uh, African Americans or black people or Hispanics or, you know, I just say like, those were the times. I mean, you know, it's, it's sort of like, yeah, but now now players train and have special diets. Back then, no one knew about uh, dieting or whatever. And back then, I mean, you used to hear stories about like Yogi Berra and Phil Rizzuto would have everyday jobs in winter because they weren't making that much money. You know, back before free agency, players weren't making a ton of money. So, you know, some of them were, but it was really up to the teams how much money the players made. So, and the players didn't have any say in it. So a lot of them just had to work in the off season and couldn't train. So, you know, that argument about like, you know, players back then didn't play against the elite competition of, you know, like some of the guys playing in the Negro Leagues back then, like Josh Gibson or Cool Papa Bell or Satchel Page. I don't know. It just, that argument doesn't really hold water for me. Just because there are so many things you could say about both. You know, like you could say, today's guys, like I said, today's guys have regimented trainings and diets and, you know, it's pretty much an all year round sport now. Whereas back then it was, you know, eight months. If you can, if you count spring training, uh, the season and the playoffs, not even that seven months, because back then the playoffs weren't very long. So uh, that's just my uh, two cents, my ramblings about sports, about baseball. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. So hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, give me your thoughts. What do you think about what I got below? And uh, yeah, check out the unusualidiots.com for all things that I'm doing. Check me out on Instagram unuseful underscore unboxing and uh, I'm also on Twitter I think unuseful underscore you uh, just search unuseful unboxing on both and you'll find me no one else has my name and uh, that's it I post pictures all the time on uh, 
Instagram of what I get and that stuff, so. And, you know, it's just a cool community over there. Uh, lots of people doing live videos and stuff. So, uh, yeah, check it out. And um, that is it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, if you, if you want to hear more baseball talk, Check out my other YouTube channel, um, The Unuseful Idiots Extended Universe. I think I'm going to be rebranding re that to Unuseful Reviews slash Commentary or something. If you have any better names, let me know below. But I mean, I'm trying to stick with the Unuseful something because that's like sort of the branding name I'm going with. But uh, yeah, so that's it. And I will be back with other videos. So that's it. Bye.